all right we're gonna do one more quick video and um what we're gonna do is what i'm gonna go find out today finally this is the tuprw 123 wad from precision i'm gonna take two of them then i'm gonna take two ranger elites from ballistic products and i'm gonna load up my 24 pellet clone of number one buckshot and we're gonna take it over there today and pattern it at 40 yards so far the ranger elite has been my best performer when it comes to this 24 pellet 28 cal which is basically a clone of um number one buckshot that factory's using i'm gonna use some couple blue chadites and a couple of clear chadites so we're gonna load these up i'm gonna take them down the street here i'm gonna load them both up with 26 and a half grains of long shot um and we're gonna go test them out now a lot of guys worry about powder leaching and you see wade and them use paper towels and stuff these are cereal boxes cracker boxes whatever kind of box i can find these are three quarter inch punched out cards that i use to put over top of my powder and it stops the powder leaching you can buy them little paper punches i got it up here somewhere for like 10 bucks on amazon or ebay and they work great that's 26 and a half grains a long shot let me show you how good these work here is a three quarter inch punched out card set it down in there set the ranger elite on it seat it down on the powder you can turn it upside down. It, it ain't leaching by there. All right. Then I turn around. I put 24 pellets by three. Two. Three. Four, five, six. No, I am not putting an eighth inch felt wad in the bottom. Nine. 10, 11, 12. 13, 14. 15, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. Now, one step I didn't do, but we're going to do it on the next one. But my gun doesn't matter. I'm shooting a three and a half. Generally, I trim this hole down an eighth of an inch. Doesn't even look like I put 24 in there. Matter of fact, I know it didn't. 21 in there. I missed a layer. Ballistic Products Original Buffer. Tamp it down on there. Cardboard Overshot Card. Twenty four pellet, twenty eight cal, roll crimped. Now most most time, guys, to make these exact length is factory, three inch fold crimped. You just cut off an eighth inch, right there. Scissors width, as I always say. Twenty six and a half a long shot again. Three quarter inch punched out cardboard over powder card tamp down on the road good 24 pellets again by three one two three usually you got to get the first row right three four five six that's right seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 24 pellets usually comes one row not quite a row above that ranger elite wad cover them with ballistic products buffer powder twelve gauge overshot card Show you the difference you can probably see it in the camera they're just a hair longer if you don't trim them this one is going to be the exact length of a fold crimped factory three inch round but these are both ranger elites all right now this time we're going to load up the TUPR 123 wad, which when I opened up a factory round, I'm going to tell you now, guys, that's a lot what it looked like. Might have just been a hair bit more red. I'm going to trim off these two chadites an eighth of an inch. 26 and a half a long shot. Over over powder card tupr one two three set it right down on there 24 pellets one two three where's gary's nudger works so much better there it is gary's nudger right here buddy and hardly reload without that stuff six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 24 pellets. Now that's staying inside the wad, guys. That TUPRW123 is just a hair bit longer. Not much, but a hair. 12 gauge overshot card, just a cardboard overshot card. <laughs> 24 pellets, the TUPRW123 wad. We're going to do it one more time, guys. Then we're going to take these at a range today. I haven't been able to go to the range, do anything in a while. Three quarter inch. All that doing is keeping the powder from migrating, guys. Here's nudger here. Get a good seat down on my powder charge. 24 pellets, one, two, three. Usually once you get the first row in there, you got it from there. Three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. All 24 pellets, 28 cal once again. Like I said, they're staying just inside the wad there. Now, me trimming them holes, you don't have to do that, guys. If your gun will handle it, don't worry about it. I do it because I load for the whole club. And some of them guys are shooting them old uh, Remington 1100s. And they seem to be notorious for they have to be the exact same length as factory to shoot correctly. My gun wouldn't matter. My son's guns, both of their guns, it don't matter. Twenty-four pellets once again, twenty-eight cal. Basically, they're a clone, guys, of uh, number one buckshot. We're gonna take both of these out today. 
and we're going to see if this TUPR123 wad competes with this Ranger Elite wad, which has been my best performer so far with this 24 pellet load. Stay tuned and we're going to go shoot them and see what happens. Later.